My name is Giselle Zanotti, and we're going to explore the body as a canvas for an expression of creativity. My mother has always been a pinnacle of glamour to me. I always remember when I would come home from school and I would come up the stairs and it would be like a haze of smoke as the sun was setting because my mom like just chain smoke cigarettes like nonstop. And she would just be sitting in front of the mirror getting her natural lighting with a little like Chanel compact like just smearing on red lipstick with like a cigarette. <laughs> that was when she was her most peaceful. She'd have the news on and she would just be sitting there doing the same face every day and it was just like it's really beautiful ritual that I loved and I definitely took that with me now getting ready it's like not even about like putting on the looks it's more so about the process of it some people go to yoga this is my type of meditation and that's how I find peace within myself changing the way that I look has always been like kind of a coping mechanism growing up so it was kind of just like making a safe place for myself This is us, bitches. <laughs> Harlem is the epitome of, like, cool New York City. And this is a fact. We come up with all the dances, all the trends. You always know when somebody's from Harlem, when they just got that zhuzh and that little something special. I first met Robot about, like, <laughs> Five years ago, I first moved to Chicago, 17, fresh out the house. I came to New York and visited, and I stayed with them at this place. And then, the rest is history. By dressing up, I was creating this whole new world for myself to exist in because the reality of my situation was not as fun and was not as great at all as the world that I was creating. We're on our way to go see one of my favorite queens, Raisa Flowers, and I'm lucky enough to be blessed by her fingers today because she's gonna beat my face. <laughs> she's like this like powerhouse. You know, she does makeup, she's a muse, she's starting off her career in modeling. And people like her are so important to include in the industry because they're so underrepresented. Raisa! Beautiful angel. How are you? Nice to see you, boy. How are you? So, sis, I know we're always like around each other and like the scene and stuff. I don't really know that much about you. Like, what like inspired you to like start creating this big like stamp that you've made for yourself? I was always into art when I was younger. I used to draw a lot. Not everyone understood what being an artist was at the time when I went to Catholic school my whole life. Right. People will always be like, oh, you're so weird. So I've been seeing you like out here modeling, doing your thing. How does that feel? Because I feel like you're breaking a lot of boundaries. We did the gypsy sport together. so together. That yeah. was so fun. It was so cute and they were so sweet. Yeah. But that was a moment because it was like so many rare people mm -hmm. on one runway. And it's good to see more diversity in the industry. There's not a lot of plus size alternative girls that are mm -hmm. like super popular or yeah. people know them like that are black. Yeah, like, you know what I'm cheap. saying? Yeah. If you can relate to something, you can feel confident yeah. about it. Like, you could be like, damn, I could. Exactly. Oh, you know, like, yeah. it's just a moment. Like, people don't realize that. Instead of using our, us as inspiration or using certain things, use the people. All these brands and, like, and, like, just people in general, like, playing God with, like, you know, like, deeming, like, what's acceptable and what isn't. Like, you're fat, but you're not the right fat. Or, like, yeah. you're skinny, but you're not the right skinny. Obviously, fashion is a really superficial industry to work in. Mm -hmm. But, like, Jesus Christ, can we have some decency, please? Right. Like, you know? And not make people feel like they have to go through all these different right. obstacles to feel like they're included. Thank you so much. My queen, let's go to St. Mark's now. Get a yeah. piercing. <laughs> All right, let's pop, bitch.
Are you excited? What are you gonna oh, get? Of course, I'm excited. I'm always excited to get a piercing. Oh, that little adrenaline rush is always so nice. I think I'm gonna get my dash pierced today. Oh, what's a dash? Dash is the inside of your ear. It's called that headache piercing. I'm very excited to get a new piercing. It's a new addition to my body. I got piercing when I was really young and it felt amazing. But when I was 16, when I got my lip pierced, I was like sliding down out of the chair and I felt like I was gonna faint. And then it was done, it was quick. And then that's how I knew I was into piercings. Now I'm, I'm like a little nervous. Take a deep breath in and let it all out. That's it. Huh? <gasps> you a G. Such a G for that. Didn't even flinch, girl. Nicey. Oh, cute. Tucked in there, all nice, all cozy. Thank you. I'm so hyped. Now I need to come back and get five more. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt. When I was um, 16, I got my septum pierced. My mom took me to get that done. It was a really nice experience. I think she got her belly button pierced too with me, which was kind of strange. But like, get your jush, mom. Live your life. <laughs> Take a deep breath in and let it all out. There you go. Ooh, okay, that wasn't as bad as the first time. Ooh. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Oh, what a rush. <laughs> I feel like they're like receptors to like take in like signals from satellites. Looks awesome. Cool, thanks so much. <laughs> All right, Appreciate thanks. you. All right. Oh my God. That looks cute. Right? It looks on point. I just feel, I don't know, high. It's like a new little piece that's like a part of me, which is cool. Thank you so much, sis. Give oh. me some love, honey. We're on our way to go see one of my friends, Mateus, AKA Orograph, a super, super talented photographer. So we're about to head in now and collab on a look and do a little shoot on a rooftop. Hey, Queen. How you doing? Good, how oh, are nice you? to see you. Come Been so long. Ooh, look at this witchy little house. It's so cute. So sis, I'm super excited to work with you today. And it's been hella long, like a couple of years since like we took pics. Your hair was so long. Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> with the braids and the yes. little flower eyebrows. I mean, not shit has changed, but the wig, honestly. Mm -hmm. Literally. <laughs> and where are you shooting? In Bushwick. On a mm -hmm. rooftop, right, or mm -hmm. something? Yeah. It's gonna be cute, yeah, I think it'll be cool. With like the colorful makeup and stuff, with like the gray skies, I think it'll really give it like a pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let's do this. So I love it. It's like so cute. We could do something with the bandanas, tying them across. Like. Orograph started out as an Instagram handle. Once I started noticing that I do have a style, I thought maybe that's the way that like I interpret a photograph like through my own lens. So like an orograph is like like the otherness in a photograph. And that's like kind of what I try to focus on, whether it's like the subject or like the way that it's shot. Wait, this is a thong? Yeah. It's like this little pussy coin purse. Oh my gosh. Maybe I could like wrap this underneath and make tops out of it and stuff. I think I've always been attracted to people who kind of do their own thing and like don't really care about like the conventional standards of beauty. I mean, a lot of the people that I photograph are transforming themselves into like supernatural beings or like they don't even want to look human. I've always admired that and like a person who's able to visualize themselves as like something more than just human. That's why I'm excited to work with Giselle today. There's so many beautiful things about her that are beyond like her physical appearance. Like here, and then I'm just gonna do like a little test. I love that. Ooh, my thighs burning, honey. 
It's this beautiful time for like weirdos and like alternative people who've been swept under the rug. People are fighting and people are putting in action what they want the world to be. Being surrounded with like multiple girls also giving looks or even if they're not, just them being there and supporting you and loving you and just like here for the fucking fantasy, that does a lot for you. When we go out to parties, like people think that like to hang with us or be cool with us, like you gotta be in a look or like be like a Tumblr cool kid. Like nobody cares about that. Beauty is feeling your fucking oath. You can hit a drum by yourself, but when you have other instruments, it becomes music. So when you're with a group of people who all love themselves and are feeling their look, bro, it's magic. Love yourself, love the people who love you back. Don't hurt nobody, don't hurt yourself, and live your best life. <laughs>